Hey friends, so commands. This video is talking about commands, but specifically two commands with attached direct object pronouns. There's a lot here. So, quick review. Informal two commands are created by using the third person, right? Third person singular conjugation while speaking directly to the person. So I look at you. You is the second person singular, right? But I'm looking at you and I use the third person singular. You know, lava los platos, wash the dishes, or haz la cama, make the bed, right? Make your bed. Lava los platos, Elias. Saca la basura, take out the trash. I'm looking at you, but I'm using the third person. That's what makes it interesting. That's what makes it uh, make sense, honestly with uh, informal two commands. Pasa la aspiradora antes de salir. Hey, you vacuum before you leave. Okay, that's a command. And notice when I did that, we'll get there in just a second. Habla con ella. Talk to her or talk with her. Habla con ella. You know, you're in front with your friend in the hallway or at the mall. Escribe una carta a tu abuelo. Your mom says, write a letter to your grandpa. Write him, escribe una carta a tu abuelo hoy. Come toda la comida, Samuel. Eat all of your food, Samuel. Is it you or is it your sibling that doesn't eat their dinner? <laughs> si no entiendes, pregunta a ella. If you don't understand, here's the command. Ask her. Ask her. Right? Not all commands need exclamation. We know that. Uh, these eight verbs, they're irregular. They're monosyllable a commands. Be, as, ve, se, pon, ten, ven, sal. Again, this is not, this is not the introduction. You should know this. Watch the introduction to two commands if you need it. Haz la cama cada mañana. Make your bed every morning. That's a command. Maybe your parents give you that command. Sal de mi cuarto, Ernesto. Tell your brother, Ernest, get out of my, leave my room. Sal de mi cuarto. Ven aquí, mami. Mira este carro. Look, come here, mom. Come here. Ven aquí. Look at this car. Di la verdad. Tell the truth. ¿Qué pasó anoche? What happened last night? So direct objects. We know these direct objects. Direct objects receive the action of the verb. Every time. Direct objects receive. He hit me. I made them. What did I make? I made cookies. I made cookies. They always use pronouns. They, they substitute or represent a noun, right? I made them. What did I make? Cookies. Direct object pronouns answer the question, who or what, about the verb. I made them. What did you make? Them. I made the cookies. He hit me. Who did he hit? Me. Me, te, lo, la, nos, los, las. We're good. Now, check this out. When used, the DOP is always attached to the end of the command. If you have a command, and you're commanding somebody, using the third person, singular, great, or instead command, whatever. You use a direct object, and it's attached to the verb. Asla ahora. What is la? La represents la cama. It, the bed. Make it. Make it right now. I told you already five times. Make your bed. Make it. Compra los hoy. Compra los. What am I buying? The tickets. Masculine, plural. Buy them today. Compra los hoy. Pégalo con la izquierda. Maybe you're a boxing coach. Pégalo. Hit him with the left. Who am I hitting? Him. It. Or I'm hitting him. Pégalo. Sácala rápidamente. La foto. La is take it quickly. Has anybody ever been with like your family and the photographer doesn't even know how to push the button? And you're like, come on, take it quickly. Saca la rapidamente. Okay. Accents are sometimes added to keep the original phonetics of the verb. Of the sounds, phonetics is sounds. Okay, prior to attaching the object pronouns to the end of the verb. So, pega, pega. But when you add lo, it would be pegalo, pegalo. And that doesn't sound right. And so we add the accent to keep the original, okay, sound. And, and again, this is, don't get hung up on accents. But pegalo, that's why you see compralos, that's why you see sacala, these accents. 
It's because a lot of times when you add the direct object pronoun or indirect object pronouns, you end up adding an accent to the, to the original root verb. Okay. Asla antes de salir. A few more examples. Do it before you leave. Asla, do it. Ponlos en el estante. Put them on the shelf. Ponlos, that's a command. Pon, put, or set. What am I doing? I'm setting them. What's them? Probably the toys, right? Los juguetes. Ponlos en el estante. Déjalo. <laughs> leave it or drop it. This could be like literally drop it, or it could be like in conversation. Drop it. Stop asking me these questions. Just leave it alone. Déjalo. <laughs> Límpialo. Clean it. Límpialo. And that's it. This is the video. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.